one ambitious experienced underwater cave explorer and his two buddies went out to complete the difficult Lancaster hole. But they clearly underestimated this cave because no one rose to the surface after four hours inside a three hour cave dive. This is the terrifying catastrophe of Simon Halliday's Lancaster Hole disaster in 2020. And now, we will try to delve more into how and why this heinous accident occurred because you're watching Deadly Addiction. Cave diving is a sort of technical diving that involves divers exploring submerged caves. It can be a very fulfilling and exhilarating hobby, but it's also quite dangerous and necessitates a high level of training experience and expertise. Mistakes can and do happen, with catastrophic or even fatal effects. Running out of air, becoming entangled in lines or equipment, dizziness or loss of direction, equipment breakdown, and human mistake are all major causes of cave diving accidents. To reduce the danger of mishaps, cave divers must be well trained and follow safe diving methods. But that doesn't stop professional cave diver Simon Halliday from doing this very dangerous event. Do you want to know what makes this cave diving disaster unique? Are you curious about what happened to this well-known diver while he was inside the hole? Watch until the end of this video to find out more. And trust me, you really don't want to miss this. Simon Halliday was 49 years old and was a cave diver from Clithrow Langs. He was a father and an experienced cave diver who had returned to the game after a two-year hiatus on a vacation in Egypt. Simon earned his diving certification after diving in the Red Sea and has since achieved several accomplishments that most can only dream of. He was a member of the Northern Division of the Cave Diving Group. He was thought to be one of the best and according to his friends and colleagues, he was one of the persons you look at and wonder, how the heck did he accomplish that? Simon was consistently the best of his team, always preparing his next project in order to push himself. He was not only a skilled caver but he also had an infectious spirit. The Lancaster Hole serves as a gateway to the Three Counties system, one of England's most extensive networks of limestone caves that run under Cumbria, Lancashire, and the Yorkshire Dales. The hole itself was discovered in September 1946 by George Corners and Bill Taylor in Cumbria. The hole is popular and visitors are welcome at any time of the year, although reservations must be made in advance. On January 4, 2020, he headed to the diving site known as Lancaster Hole with his pals David McDonnell and Kevin Gannon. This is a dive Simon had done before, and he wanted it to be a solo dive which, according to him, would take no longer than three hours. His friend, Mr. McDonnell, said that the dive at Lancaster Hole was not one that he himself would have felt confident undertaking. On that particular day, more water was flowing into the channel than usual, but Simon was undeterred, and he went ahead with a dive nonetheless. Divers have begun investigating the hole's downstream passage, which was roughly about 900 meters farther than the sump pool that was frequently accessed. Halliday was using a rebreather that was believed to be in development, but was not yet commercially accessible. Sump UK, a sporting goods company, had given it for the descent. A diving rebreather is an underwater breathing gear that captures carbon dioxide from the diver's exhaled air so that the significantly wasted oxygen content, as well as any unused oxygen content, can be reused. Hence the name rebreather. Simon's most recent post read, Just setting off now. I'll be underground all day. We'll post something later. His companions waited and waited and stayed there for four hours after he left before contacting the authorities. They left an extra hour, as they thought that Simon was doing fine. After all, he was indeed one of the best. When the fourth hour came, they began to worry. They contacted the Cumbria police and it notified the cave rescue organization, and up to 40 volunteers and divers from the CDG were claimed to have arrived at that moment to help in the search for Simon. It was diver Anthony Seddon who had been called in to help that entered the underwater tube and discovered Mr. Halliday who had died 14 minutes and 60 meters in. The oxygen supply pipe from Mr. Halliday's rebreather appears to have become detached or torn off as he was dragged away from the water, according to Cockermouth Coroner's Court. 
It was said to be disconnected either during the dive or while the body was being saved and it was quite uncertain. Data from Halliday's dive computers on the other hand confirmed the premise that his rebreathing apparatus had betrayed him. According to a spokesman from CRO, they have searched from the point where the cave diver entered Lancaster Hole's downstream passage. Other entrances and possible exits were also searched by the team members and a cave diver, in case the diver had emerged from the system somewhere else. Dr. Nicholas Shaw, assistant coroner for Cumbria Police, concluded Halliday's rebreather had most likely failed him and recorded a verdict of misadventure with drowning as the medical cause of death. Mr. Halliday did not consider the passageway to have an increase of water flowing to be an issue, but the strength of the current appeared to rise during his time in the hole. The inquest heard that this may have forced him to use more air on his return journey, when he would have been fighting the stream. As his canisters emptied, he may have expanded more energy attempting to stay down in the passage and avoid drifting it toward the top. This situation could have been exacerbated if Mr. Halliday had been stressed and had been breathing more heavily because his air was running out that cost him his own life. Simon was left by his wife and two children. According to his wife, Simon had a great life and spent the most out of each day. He was a loving husband and a father, and the incident had broken both of their hearts. Simon has an impact through many people's lives. This is demonstrated by the numerous posts on the Pegasus Diving Club's tribute to Simon Halliday. Simon's tragic demise devastated his East Lancashire pals. Simon's closest friend once said, he was truly a remarkable person with boundless energy for the things he loved to do, and his passion was infectious, which brought both new life to the club and for those who were fortunate enough to go underground or dive with him. The cave diving community lost one of its best and most active members when Simon died on that fateful day, so I hope my narrative does him honor. Simon Halliday will forever be missed by his friends and families. May this serve as a reminder to everyone to treat everyone as if it was their last day, because tomorrow is quite uncertain. So let us seize the day and make memories with the people we love. What do you think of this video? Please leave a comment below and let us know what other topics you'd like us to cover in our next video. I wish this serves as a lesson to everyone to be cautious and alert before engaging in anything that you know can hurt you. Always double check everything to see whether you're ready or not. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, press the notification bell, subscribe to our channel, and write a comment down below by telling us just how you felt and what stories you would like to hear in the next one. Until then, we'll see you next time.